Welcome back to another episode of Check the Tape. I'm Master Joe, representing South Florida down here. Uh, and we're going to take a look at another whiteboard set from Monday, 14th. Um, we've got Fez on gold with an adjusted camera, I think, maybe? <laughs> and uh, Alex on blue. But it's not about the players, it's about the play. So, we're going to be taking a look at kind of what's going on as the game unfolds. Uh, what works, what doesn't work, in an effort to point some things out. Everything that I'm going to say is my personal opinion, as I've said many a time. And the goal is to just shine some shine on the strategy and kind of the thought process and positional awareness for the game. So we can bring up our, our, our game IQ and whatnot as a scene and as players. So, uh, let's see. Again, these are going to be whiteboard sets from Monday. These are pickup games. All the teams are, you know, schoolyard picked out. And then we just go at it for a best of five set. So we'll see what happens here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. As another note for people watching our tournament, Hive City Classic 3, you can see it on there. It's going to be February 25th and 26th, 2023. Check out our website, kqsfl.com, for more information. But for now, let's get right into this thing and see what's going on. Ooh. Ooh, okay. A little dog fighty action in the middle here. Let's see. Gold Queen. Going up and over. Wow, okay. I like it. That's a little maneuver. Interesting. Okay. So. You know what, though? Blue still kind of wins the open. Kind of. You know, they 100% they do. So what happens here? Uh, let's see, how did gold open exactly? I can see the tragic magic pixel <laughs> for gold abs. <laughs> you hate to see it, but it'd be like that sometimes. Oh, okay. And then gold checks didn't get the berry. They went to the safe gate, but they forgot to get the berry first. Now they're in. All right. Uh, we got a second speed situation. No, we have... Okay. So, okay. Not sure. Maybe it was a... Maybe... Okay. Maybe it was an attempt to bump or something. Berries on, on, on day is always going to be a bit tough. But, gold abs gets magic pixeled, drops down, gets a berry. There's some dinking around over here. Uh, maybe a challenge would have came from Blue Queen, but since Gold Queen killed her at the beginning with that nice up and over, or under and up, rather, uh, no challenge came. And then we somehow put two berries, we're running berries. Interesting. We talked about this a little bit before in the other video, but the problem running a 2-2 berry against a 3-1 snail team is that if you don't immediately kind of start making gains with those numbers and killing warriors, you know, if they're attacking you, you're on full defense and maybe you get a kill on one of them playing defense, uh, you're going to be outplayed in the military aspect of the control game, right? Uh, you just don't have the numbers to compete. Uh, so you have to spend all your time defending, but eh, it's risky. So let's see how gold team tries to make this work for them. Good kill there on the side. Good picks. Uh, blue blue skulls. Gold's got one warrior now. They've got, I mean, a decent amount of berries, and they are escorting them in. Nice kills. Okay, so so this isn't terrible for for gold team. They just got two really nice picks by you know doing a textbook backdoor uh, kind of escort here, taking this route. Right to escort in. That's the back door. Uh, oddly enough, back door. That's a some terminology that some players still don't know. So feel free to you know ask questions if you ever hear a term in the game and you're like, what's back door mean? Uh, hopefully someone will tell you the KQ answer and not the uh, <laughs> the Rule 34 answer. But um, th this this works out. So just just ask any terminology you know. Uh, just just ask questions if you don't know. You hear something, you're like, what's that? Uh, but that's good. Good pick. They're, they're going to be able to still run some berries there. Oh, no. Okay. So Gold Queen drops this. No reason to drop that bear. 
I think that was just getting baity with uh, Blue Queen kind of in that moment for no reason. Blue Queen doing a great job recognizing it and, and just coming over. But you're running berries. Um, you want to defend. You're always on defense in, when you're when you're running berries in this way, right? You, you're protecting and defending. So you want to park. Oh, never actually gets up high enough. So maybe it was a maybe dropping taps or or just you know not coming all the way through. But at any rate, they do get the escort eventually. Barriers are coming through, but they have to start addressing the snail now. It's out of the tunnel. This is a good indicator. Basically, you know, in day map, when the snail gets out of the tunnel, you want to start paying attention to it. You want to start considering, okay, should we ride it back? You don't want the snail at any point to get past this. If the snail gets past this point, oh boy, you are toast, man. You're toast. Just don't let it happen. Um, if it does happen, you have to stop doing everything else and focus all of your attention and resources to getting that snail back. Um, but this is like the ultimate checkpoint, this ledge right here. This is like, eh, maybe this warrior can, you know, deal with it. But once the snail gets here, all systems go, you, you, you focus on snail. Uh, five berries left for gold team. Queens on last, that's rough, but they're in the 2-2 still, and it's even. If it's even and you're a 2-2, this is great. Because one of the warriors, like, and this is the numbers game I'm, ta I'm talking about. One of the warriors on the snail team has to stay at the snail. Otherwise, the snail has no chance to move. It has no escort. It has to stay there or it cannot move. So this is, you're parked. This is a commitment that cannot be broken if the snail is to move at all, ever, right? Then you go over here. Well, a warrior, right? The lone warrior here cannot, I repeat, cannot defend the ledge in this situation. Why? Because if the queen comes, the warrior has to respect the queen. The queen will come up the back door here, push forward, the warrior has to drop down and get out of the way. He just has to, otherwise you're gonna die. The berries come in behind that, boom. That's just how that works. So the only way to stop that is to send your queen. So blue queen has to be up here to also help ledge guard to, to you know, prevent that from happening. And now you get to a situation where you have uh, two on two, but these are like, under pressure to attack and defend in a weird kind of way these guys are just waiting for an opportunity to bust this defense which is usually going to come through some kind of um attention through through here pushing on the top ceiling here uh or you know a queen i've seen this a lot queen will push in the queens will start bumping queens are bumping 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 and then the queen on this side will just not bump and pull back and then this challenging queen is expecting the bumps, so they just keep going forward. And now you have this nice gap that gets opened up here, right? For drones to go through. Now this warrior is under stress. This second warrior can then kind of come up in there in some way and put pressure on this warrior to get them out or bump them and make room for the drones. Uh, so there's a lot of, you know, good things going for gold here in this configuration, except for the fact that the queen is on last. But right now, gold is for sure winning. For sure. Hands down. Ooh. All right. I don't mind it. It's 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 risky and I don't know if I like it, but whatever, right? Queen comes down. It's a low J, maybe that's just kind of where it starts, right? And then then we're down here. But all right. They get the kill. Could be worse. This is looking really good for gold now, right? Now I don't like this. There's no reason for the qu the queen is doing gold check's job now, right? Gold check's here. Gold check has been here. This is this gold check knows this job. They doing it. So at this point, queen just needs to leave. Let gold check handle that. The the, the snail is never the queen's job. Snail the, the the snail berries ledging all that stuff. Those are all warrior jobs. The queen's job is to tag gates and then position herself in a way to assist and support whatever her team needs to do. So now you have gate control, right? Except for this one. You want to position yourself to help your berries go in at this point. You don't need to be down here, but I'm gonna dive down, try to help fight this for some reason. Just get out of there. You don't need to be there, right? Now we're back in our place. We're, we're escorting. We're trying to get berries going in. 
All right, nice, gets the kill. Barry's still there, I like it. I would prefer in this moment. Oh, well, no, there's there's more warriors that came out on the map now. So this is actually good. Are we gonna get this pence? Yes, well, not quite the pence, but we are gonna get that kill, that's good. We're escorting another Barry in. Nice kill up there by uh, Gold Skulls. Another Barry goes in, two Barry's left. Ooh, God, is this a kill? No, all right, well, all right, jeez. <laughs> okay. I was going to talk about uh, gold checks for a second here. I see a lot of folks do this, where you're close on berries, right? You need two more. But again, we've talked about KQ, right? Especially when you're running berries at any point in time, right? But it's a numbers game in terms of who has the military strength to control and push their objective. If you're running berries, you need a 2-2. If you're running berries against a snail team that's trying to go 3-1, you need a 2-2. Two, two. That means two warriors, two objective runners, as opposed to the other team's three warriors and one objective runner. They're running snail. They only need one. You need the 2-2. Two, two. So what I see people do is, oh man, we only need two more berries. One more berry. I'm gold checks. I'm going to run up here and just try to get that berry in because that's what I'm focused on and I'm excited and I'm not thinking about the whole game and the numbers of, oh shoot, they're about to have three warriors. There it is. All right. Instead, gold checks is getting up right here. You don't need to put that berry in right now. Yes, you have two berries. Yes, this one should be going in right now. But yours was contested by the queen and in that particular moment your queen's on last just play for the long game you know you can escort another berry in play for the long game get your second warrior up because otherwise you're about to be in pain town when you don't have the numbers and your queen gets pressured to death so great decision coming up there uh, okay good kill i don't like the fighting from go because this look this goes bad how many times right it, it could go Let's see how many times this could go bad. One, could have died right here. Gold, the blue queen has an egg, so they can be a little risky here. Gold does not, and you only need two berries. How, how just crappy would you feel if you had two berries, one berry left really soon, and you, you're that close and you just die because you were fighting when you shouldn't have been, right? Thinking about that, as a queen, look at your objectives. Where do I need to be? I need to be alive and safe. I need to give my team as much time as possible to be alive and safe. All I need to do is get these two berries in. Where do I need to be? Parked right here, protecting this column. This warrior's coming up, right? I need to be over here. Keep the queen away from this box. Keep her out of this area. That's all I need to do. They're not getting the snail in, so I don't need to be here. So I, I hate this. <laughs> I don't like that this is happening. Yes, gets the kill, gets away from it, but like as a concept, this is too risky and not rewarding enough, right? You get the kill on the queen, great. She's, she comes back. She's got another egg. You die, game's over, right? High risk, low reward. Good stick though. All right, escort, nice positioning from the from the gold warriors there, and blue queen's gonna drop a tap and the game's over. Overall, that's a really, really good way that gold ran berries, very good. Um, out of open, but you know, they came back, they made it work, and it was really their escorts, the timing of the escorts too, that made that work. When I say timing of escorts, what I mean is there there's a certain amount of time it takes for a drone to complete a berry run, right? You put the berry in, you pop back out, you run down, you get another berry, and now you're ready to be escorted in again. If you as a as a team that's running berries can get that timing down. You don't need to necessarily stay here the whole time, you know, or just, just park to escort your berries in. Like as a queen, right? Let's say you're escorting berries in. You can leave, tag this gate. You can dive down, tag that gate, and then come back, rejoin with your escort, escort in. Okay, go tag a speed gate, tag a speed gate, come back over, escort in. All right, go do something else, come back, escort in. There, there's, there is a, a flow to this, right? As opposed to just staying here and waiting for the drone to show up every time and allowing the other team to kind of position around that, right? You can be more mobile. All right, going into not my yep. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All of gold is ponied up over here. This isn't necessarily bad. This doesn't mean everybody's gonna start just, you know, 
fun speed and doing crazy stuff. What I think is going to happen, which is what I hope is happening, is that this is going to be a three berry dunk. One warrior is going to try to go speed, and this, this team is going to try to do what's known as a flood, um, or partial flood, where at the beginning of the game, you have the majority of your drones run a berry. So let's see what happens. Uh, not what I thought. Not what I thought at all. I hate it. I hate it. It's bad. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> no one runs a berry. Everyone is trying to become a warrior. One person runs a berry. This is the weirdest, most inefficient open I think I've seen in a long time. They do get two warriors from it. And, and some nice kills, but the... T oh, boy. The, the time. The time it takes is the issue. If we're trying to get up warriors... Well, let me look at the speed bumps. Let me look at... Let me, let me, let me take a look. They're going to send two. Yeah, it's just one person jumping. Wow. And they got, we got spooked over here, so we jumped into it. We missed, we missed that. So, all right. They do scare away a speed. But, but speeds, speed comes, speed comes, gets up no problem, bumps a little bit too much, could have got up a little faster, but okay, they, they, they get what they want. Why did gold lose? Blue, blue, you know, has lost a queen life. We'll talk about that later. Gold lost because they sent a lot of people to get up as warrior, but they only have one. Why? Where, where are all the warriors? They were, like, everybody went to be a warrior. What happened? Let's look. This is, first of all, this is the path. If you're trying to get up warriors, especially vanilla warriors, you, you don't do this. Send one person here. Start one person here. Start one person underneath that platform. Or here. Uh, playing with Malloy. Malloy. Malloy loves to start here sometimes. Drop down. Grab a berry come on the opposite side of the enemy queen, right? And kind of threaten some bump action here sometimes, depending if the if his queen goes high. Uh, or take the safe path, come behind your queen, and get to the gate that way. Um, but this this is a safe, eh, safe-ish. If your queen is fast enough to control this gate and they're going to go high, or if the enemy queen you know is just going to go low because of how they play or whatever, you've learned some things about them, this is a very safe gate to get up Vanilla Warrior right away. Uh, this gate or this gate also relatively safe if your queen can hold this column Keep eyes on that or if they go low To protect against the other queen like diving down or something like that in the beginning Then this warrior jumps up boom berry back or boom berry keeps going through Maybe the enemy queen goes high right you get berry and go over here Maybe if there's no drone to bump you out of the way so like Faster ways to get I mean almost immediately two vanilla warriors out right no one, no one does that though. Uh, even on blue side, blue side does some weird stuff. What, what the heck does blue do? Blue sends two people here. Okay. This I understand. This I don't understand. This I don't understand. Let's see. All right. All right. Well, this, this is one of the things I was saying. So there's one vanilla. That's easy. If any pr team sent someone down here, that would have been a second vanilla, basically in the same amount of time. So now all this time is going by where no one is getting up. No one is getting up still. Finally, the, the, the second warrior in the entire game finally gets up after all of that time has gone by. So really, it was pretty inefficient from both teams. But man, oh man. That was bizarre. Oh, nice rise. Okay, I was looking to try to see why did uh, Blue Queen go down. Oh, and that's a turn right there. So Blue Queen going down into handicap mode here, as I like to call it. Handicap mode is when you just you die intentionally twice to make the game interesting. <laughs> live life on the edge is the only way I can live. 
<laughs> Always in loser's bracket, you know, you get energized. Uh, Mango and, and Smash Bros. Melee. <laughs> Uh, anyway, no, these are just these are just skills. That's not handicap mode. Okay. Uh, well, the game's still going. Gold is running berries now, and blue is running snail. Uh, we got a nice pick. What happened? I think blue skulls on gold queen is okay. Just just scrapes to hold the space there. Again, we talked about this um, in the. Uh, uh, set before I think it was Tiffany versus Master Joe. That's me. Um, but this this spot underneath the, the the middle ledge. If you're trying to run snail and get it off the rope, this is a great place to be. You need you need some things to help support this. This is easily pensable or threatened. So you know this warrior can be forced out of this position pretty easily. Just have two people and get on the sides. But in this case, gold team's not pincing here so this is free and you can just you can just move it when 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 you stack up like this th this is why this kill happens again gold checks has this gold checks is capping queen they are doing their job for whatever reason in this particular moment gold queen dives down to do the same job maybe they wanted to jn and missed it or something like that happened but effectively the same thing is happening right now what does that do for a speed warrior that's in close proximity and has this beeline? Well, it opens up an opportunity, right? Not under any immediate threat from anyone, right? So, bing. And the only reason why that wasn't a double is because Gold Check saw it <laughs> and stopped tapping. All right, so, you know, blue is not looking horrible now see what happens i love 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 the position and the thought process right now of blue queen blue queen's on last sometimes last is scary it's tricky you feel like you need to be places you need to do things but she's doing exactly what she needs to do right now which is trust and believe in her team right now her team is not failing this warrior is up you know helping move the snail fighting and do, dealing with this situation this warrior is up on the ledge doing ledge stuff you know letting that happen eh. no one else is going for a gate right now because they are in a 2-2 so yeah these gates are open but they already have the warriors that they want so it just park help the snail move the queen being here prevents the enemy queen gold from coming in going over here threatening this busting it up this position just sitting there being luigi seemingly doing nothing is the most critical point that's that's happening right now if blue queen doesn't trust uh blue stripes comes down here starts ledge guarding this position's gone everything is fucked like everything for the snail push is fucked because you have all this pressure that's coming but her being there just it sets this whole thing up right so let's keep going snail dies no big deal gets a pick Ooh, almost gets a kill there now we've got our three one right queen being in position for that amount of time enabled the third warrior that we need on blue team right to get up boom now they are in a situation where they are horribly out of place in numbers right you got one warrior running berries to try to win and a ledge guards up this warrior cannot leave the snail. If that warrior leaves the snail at any moment, the snail just moves for free. So they have to stay there. Got some gates. No one's trying to get up though because everyone is prioritizing getting these berries in. This, oh, okay, I was about, oh, I was about to be mad. Again, good job. Gold checks, recognizing, oh man, four berries left. Doesn't get the noodle brain. Realizes we are behind. We need more military. We only have one warrior up. We need to at least be in a 2-2 against a 3-1 team. Boom. Gets up. Does not try to force that berry in. Good. Good, good, good decision making there. This fight has been going on so long between the skulls. <laughs> I just want to say. That's good. And that's what you want. War of attrition. Gold skulls is, you know, and, and now gold uh, checks are helping that snail stay alive good push good escort from blue this is what the 2-2 does 
The queen is here now. What did we say from before? If the queen is there, the only thing that can stop it is the enemy queen. The warrior has to respect the queen. The warrior has to leave. Otherwise, the warrior will die. You got an escort here, ready and locked and loaded. Here's the push. You, even, you got two warriors in here, but boom, queen kills one of them. Nice tag. Gonna push in. Good job for the drones not forcing the berry, waiting for the queen, right? Don't, don't force it. Wait until you know you've got it. Boom, one berry left now. Now on the other side, uh, looks like gold skulls went down. Ah, uh, okay. A little positional trickery. This is a this is like a, a strange counter bait type situation. What you're gonna see. Oh man, positions. There's a lot I can say here. One this is this is never a good place to hold when you're trying to defend snail why because it's the lowest point it's a difficult spot to be there's better places to be if the snail is in this position um, it does serve as a block that's good but what I would like to see here positionally since blue queen is over here right out of the way not a threat I would like to see gold skulls come in and cap blue skulls right then I would like to see checks up in here. Cap this. If a, if, a, if a blue drone comes, kill him, go back. You want to be here and you want ideally your gold uh, uh, drone runner to be on that snail riding backward, but you defend them from up here with skulls capping here. That cuts the momentum of the movements that this guy can make and it protects here. Instead, you're, you're here, you're, you're kind of doing something but you're not helping your objective move forward, right? Say you have a, a drone on this, they get on it, they start moving. What's Blue Skulls gonna do? Just take this free angle, kill them, reset. So if you're here, that angle is no longer free. Okay, now we have a, a, a position shift, right? We have a drone coming, we also have a queen though. What should happen in this case? What, what, how does this break down? The queen's coming. Sounds a little risky, but what should happen in this case, again, it's gonna be on gold checks. You gotta choose a different position. What are you gonna do from here? You're thinking, okay, I'm gonna, this guy's gonna come down. I'm gonna snipe that snail. Not a bad thought. What I would like to see happen, positionally, right? Gold checks hold here. You hold here to cap the queen. If the queen comes, that's a strong player that can now pence you guys out and kill you. So you go here to stop her advance, right? Buy yourself a little time. Now, you can't hold there indefinitely. Why? Because blue skulls, whose speed, can easily come over here and kill you. But not before you see that. If you see that maneuver coming over, you can go back here. This is safer. If blue skulls moves here, that opens the door up for um, gold skulls to snipe the snail and reset, right? Right now, what is blue skulls doing? They're holding this column, which is defending against this and this for this. Blue checks. Blue checks falls down the column, bang, it's on the snail. Now, because this move didn't happen earlier, ooh, pence, pence is coming. This isn't good, I've seen this setup before. Gold Checks is starting to freak out a little bit. What's Gold Checks gonna do in response? Leave the pence, but not in the way that they should. If you're gonna leave the pence this way, get something for it. Go down here, kill, kill the Snail Rider, move through this low zone, because at least if you go under here, you have a ceiling to protect your head, and then you have a warrior to protect your angle like coming out over here, right? Kill, go out this way, maybe dip back down, try to reset, put some pressure on this guy from from the top. Instead, gold checks is they're gonna leave this pence, like just just leave the pence, that's all they're thinking about, and they're gonna leave this way. Just straight across. And I think in their mind they want to get across here and kind of checkpoint here to stop the snail's advance, but from this spot, right? When this character, again, everything is so intricate in the positions, guys. When this character moves forward this way. This opens up now a bait opportunity 
for blue uh, skulls, who, mind you, has been a battle with gold skulls this entire time. This move here looks juicy, right? Looks juicy. Gold skull is thinking, hmm, blue is probably going to try to kill checks here. Blue is probably going to try to kill checks because he's so juicy looking over as, as, as this maneuver is being made. But Blue Skulls knows that. It's speed. It's speed on speed. Speed rises really fast. If you tap, you just you just rise fast. So what is he going to do? He's going to drop down, shoot right back up. Maybe he gets the kill here. Maybe he doesn't. But he's going to drop down, shoot right back up. In that timing, Gold is going to push forward because that mind game is happening, right? And and this is going to break down and they're going to lose this, right? We only had one more berry here. But this is going to get lost here. And that's going to put the snail in prime position to get into the net all because the queen was not checked here in the moment that she should have been by uh, the gold checks player watch how this plays out it's always interesting to watch the positional bits there's the bait didn't get the kill but we're already working on rising now we're not following this guy through. We're already working on the rise. And if I slow this thing down so you can just see it in perspective. It's close. It could have been a bump. But it's not. It's a kill. That's the bait maneuver, right? So you want to lock that in and try to just be aware of how your movements inform other ancillary movements, right? that can either position you in a good way or a negative way. They can set you up or they can break you down. And in this case, it broke gold team down. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Chex is just in a horrible place, gets picked off, and that snail is going in the basket. Blue, uh, gold queen can't even make it there. Interesting how that broke down, but good on gold. Bring it back with a nice crispy snail victory. All right, going to dusk map now. Let's see what happens here. Been having a lot of fun commentating these and, and doing these footage reviews. So if you want to have your footage reviewed, uh, I, 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 kind of, I tend to pick these at random. I just try to look and see, okay, which games are interesting, which ones are fun. I skim them and try to see, okay, this is interesting stuff going on. And But I'm only doing this on the Monday game. So if you want to you know, get some commentary on it and maybe get a chance to, to see what I think about particular moves that maybe you made, because, uh, again, it's about the play, not the players, um, just come on Mondays. All right. I like I like I like things that are going on here. I like what's happening. This is interesting. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oop. 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 Okay. Cool man. All right. Let's 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 break this back down. So the open here is interesting. It's it's a little a little different. Uh, one blue team gets into it a little late, but they eh, eh, they get there. All right. So we have a vanilla and a vanilla. It's from the safes. We got our speed and our speed. No one went middle except for this one guy. Interesting. This is interesting. All right, let's talk about that real quick. Let's talk about the path of, ooh, ooh, path of blue stripes. So indecision is what's happening here. Everyone else on the map seems to have direction of, of what they're trying to do where they're trying to go we got a little wiggle here maybe got stuck on the ledge okay cool but then this way get that buried no this that okay i want to go to this gate eh i'm up okay if you were gonna get up here with a berry as a vanilla warrior why in the world would you not just start right here right starting over here going over here going over here getting this berry coming back over here then to get up way longer it takes way more time than drop jump drop done right if you're gonna get up here as a vanilla warrior just do it from here honestly when you're playing high tournament play most of the time teams will open by sending two uh drones here two drones here on both sides you know they'll drop down and they will fight over this gate 
the the objective runner will be here and a vanilla warrior will be here this is assuming that both queens are going to mirror by like bumping through the the wrap if they open up in the middle this can break down pretty fast but if the queens open in the wrap then it's just all in the drones and the fighting here the objective runner drone will typically try to bounce and fight for the gate to protect the warrior drone right which everyone's trying to get warrior warrior drone wants to stand in the gate and be left alone uh objective runner drone will bump the other warriors away to make sure that that happens and then whichever team gets the warrior out first here wins they get they win they get the objective up because once that warrior is out the other drone can keep bumping right the warrior's there they bump 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 and then the warrior forms and now they can pressure and basically control that gate and this team has to go packing um that's typically how that works try it out if you if you haven't done it yet oh like this is an opportunity like we, we just kind of talked about it but drone riding the snail right riding the snail riding the snail has has no other care except riding the snail jumps off because i think they thought they were going to feed as a note to all snail riders if you ever <laughs> are in a situation where you're not under threat and a speed warrior wants to just suicide into you please eat them please don't jump off the snail just eat them they're delicious and nutritious uh in this moment though i really would have loved to have seen blue checks jump off the snail now because your warrior is almost formed and as we all know a warrior that forms immediately has iframes and you can't actually get back down here to kill another drone that's about to form immediately like you, it doesn't work you, you're 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 flashing an invincible too long they will get in the gate and form before you can kill them as a freshly popped warrior right but you can combat this by having a drone hello jump and bump you can bump this if you bump them one time that uh timing of the iframes you know the the amount of invincibility you have after you form will clear in enough time for you to now kill this guy who's trying to get up but you need that bump you need this bump right here right you bump now or a little bit before that point this warrior can come back and kill this guy before he forms you stop that definitely a missed opportunity there but you know hey it'd be like that sometime all right now oh boy let's talk about blue abs blue abs making a play i like what um gold queen did here the only thing i think wasn't great about this particular setup in this way uh oh actually there's a couple things that weren't great blue queen's actually dead here um it's hard to see but the indicator that i use for the queens to tell when you're peeking peeking is when you're not quite under the ledge there's a little part of you that's exposed from underneath the safety of the ledge and the indicator that i use is the queen's shoulder blades he's this little this little lapel uh, another indicator is the queen's kind of hilt on her sword you can see it's pretty much in line with the shoulder blade right you draw a line here uh, I use a shoulder blade, just it's, it's easier for me, and it doesn't like move with the swinging of the sword. Sometimes that messes me up. But this queen's shoulder blade is just slightly out from this ledge, just slightly. So if this queen just pushed forward and capped this like 100% with no gap, blue queen is already dead. So look for that, like push. If you're gonna hold the edge, push, cap it, cap it, just in case, just in case she's peeking. Yeah, she, she moved back now. She realized. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, okay. This is this is tough because this is a low column. If you got this, these warriors should just drop a little bit. They shouldn't drop to try to kill. Just drop to pressure and keep pushing these guys down. Like a weather pattern. Just keep pushing the pressure down. But neither one of them drop. So these warriors then look for another angle to come in. And Blue Abs is going to get it with a really, really good read. It happens because gold checks gives this room, right? You now have this angle. Th this one speed warrior is gonna come over, right? And you, you got this angle here. You don't wanna have that angle and, and you wanna protect something. What, what do you need to protect in this situation? Gold queen has blue queen, right? This, this, is, this is capped. She has to go down this way or this way or something. You got an objective runner. 
that's what your focus is. You, you want that objective runner to get that top area. Uh, and you got two warriors that are kind of out of position and almost in the same place. So what do you do? You push in. Again, you push the pressure, push the system down. Gold check should be right here. Push in and trying to set up a kill box with gold, at, uh, gold skulls. Get these guys underneath here and just pin some kill. But instead, pulls back here for some reason to put more pressure on a queen that doesn't need any more pressure because this is this is accounted for, and it's going to open up this lane. When that lane opens up, Blue Ab is going to take advantage of it and get a crispy double. Look at this. Look how open it is. It's really open now. This is dead. You got this, right? Bang, queen's dead. Snail's still moving, by the way, right? Got a protector, too. Three. One. Two. Two. This, this, this is a race, but this ain't what you want. They don't have control of Snail. This is tough. They both have the idea, because that is so open. These guys are, this, this guy is falling. We are rising, so we can, we can beat it. But here, this is this is a good split. Uh, Blue Stripes going for the objective runner. Gold Abs making a run for it to try to get to the top here. This is narrow, but this is a good read. There it is. It's it, it's it's one. It's beat. Blue Abs is officially higher. It's over. Now the question is, can Gold Skulls lip underneath this to kill Blue Abs in time? No because they're capping, right? They got capped a little bit. They tried to get under there, but they capped a little bit. So boom, dead. Blue Abs turns, because there's a momentum thing here, and just catches the Speed Warrior with that momentum from that same maneuver. And all of a sudden, you go from having all this military pressure and maybe a potential top berry to just a queen kill at is pretty insignificant in terms of this that's happening and let's see now i can see there's a play to get some speed here so that's 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 really good and smart from blue team very good positioning risky calculated but if you can see those things you know see those gaps see those areas where you can you can sneak in there when the team gives them to you sometimes the windows especially in competitive play are literally that small This is super smart coming from uh, blue checks. Gra the enemy is wiped. No one can fight me now, except for the queen. I get speed. I can run away from any threat, right? There's no speed on the map for the other team. I can run away from any threat and I can push this snail way faster. So yeah, don't just slow it in there, you know? Go get speed, come back. What's she gonna do? Nothing. What's she gonna do? Nothing. She, she's got to deal with all this. She's got to get gates up. She's got to get warriors up. Blue, blue is covering. They're, they're spread out. The position is great. No, can't get up here. You know, maybe middle gate, maybe. Nope, not anymore. Left gate now. Got a nice kill over there. But speedy, speedy, speedy the entire time. And look, the position from blue team is still really good. Even with the warrior that they just lost. Still good. Oh, no. Don't like this. When you're speed and you have no threats, don't jump off. Just just eat this guy. Just eat him. Now, the only saving grace here is that Blue Queen is in the area, but they they have other plans. Are they going to make it? No. So, you lost your objective there. You you lost your your boon, your boost of speed snail because you jumped off when you didn't need to. Just, just eat him. Just eat him. He's delicious, like a gummy bear. Delicious and nutritious. Mmm. Just eat him. Let that speed work for you. Now, gold able to kind of bring this back a little bit. They've been able to get warriors up, right? Which is big. That's very big from, uh, from gold queen. Oh no, don't like that from blue. There's a moment where you, you gotta you gotta know when you've lost the advantage as a queen and a warrior. They're these little micro fights. The moment for me is if I if I feel like I'm in a position where I should have died or I should be dead. Like right now, blue should just be dead. You're not. But by all accounts in this freeze frame, you you should be. 
<laughs> if if it was, if it was like an ABC, what happens next? I'd say Blue Queen's dead. So in those moments, I always think, okay, I'm I'm, I'm I should be dead. I'm not. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a, I'm a just I'm gonna just go over here. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just stop being risky right now. I'm gonna just go be grateful that I'm alive and just stay alive for a while. But you'll see, there's a moment in here where Blue Queen, for whatever indespicable in, in, indistinguishable reason decides to fight with a queen that's got both eggs when you only got one again risk assessment it ain't worth it let's see what happens i'm leaving i'm leaving nah i'm gonna fight you oh shit i should have left tried to turned around for it but in that moment when you turn in this game turning changes your momentum when you turn you lose momentum so in that moment when blue queen turned around she lost momentum from that from that change Gold Queen, however, lost no momentum and was able to continue rising, catch up, and kill. Microtransactions. Speed Snow going the other way for, for Blue. Oh, almost gets the pick. Nice bump. Oh, nice. Gold abs. That was beautiful. I mean, that was really good. Look at this. Look at this. It's a Speed Warrior, too. Jumps intentionally to bump. Doesn't jump and run away this way. Jumps and intentionally bumps this this speed right here. I mean, near miss right there, right? First of all. But that's okay. Boom. Bang. Dead. Keep rolling. Like limp biscuit. Rolling, 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 rolling. All right. Now a little turn right there and they go down. But all in all, that was great. That bought gold team enough time to stay in the game. Run some more berries. They got no top for it. And they can defend the snail for quite a while. It, it is difficult to run a uh, gold or uh, uh, a dusk snail without 3-1. It is, it is really difficult. Like you have to fortress in the position there quite a bit. Okay. We, this is weird over here. Just watch gold queen. This is a bit strange. What, what's going on here, actually? Is there a reason why we're jumping and doing this? We're on. Yeah, if you don't have an escort on Snail, but there are also no discernible threats near you. Again, do not jump off. Just don't do it. You gotta, you gotta calculate that. There's no reason to jump here. No one's coming to help you. Don't jump. Just, just, just keep riding. Just eat him. Just eat him. Right? Oh, I wanted to see what the queens were doing, right? Yeah, okay. So, this is just a case of just hanging around too long. This, this is what we call fucking around and finding out. I'm going to slow this interaction down so you guys can just see what's going on here. Gold queen. Positionally here, right? But what is happening on this side of the map? Nothing. You've got one guy that just ran a berry, but nothing else of value is happening right now for gold team. You're trying to run snail back because you're losing on snail. You need time. You have time. You have lives. These basically account to time in the game. If you have two eggs, you have more time than this guy, right? So let's just stay alive. Run that snail back. That's all you need to do. Position for that. Maybe tag gate. Just, just keep moving. Stay alive. But there's, there's nothing to do here. You're, you're not going to escort berries against two warriors, not on dust map, uh, and not with just one guy. So, like, that's not happening. Your warriors are over here. They're not helping you fight this. No one's fighting anything here to try to get any pences. So there's nothing of value happening for gold team over here. But the queen is going to stay here. And the entire time, you just got to ask yourself, why am I here? What am I doing? I'm holding here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to dip over here. I'm going to try to fight my way into a pence, right? Opportunity, potentially. She was trying to J dot, or a lazy J under this, but got too high and got caught on a ledge. But this was a lazy J attempt. That's literally putting yourself into a pence, right? No, no, we don't need to do that. Now, we have something here. Kind of. We're even higher up there, right? That's that's not bad. That's pretty good. 
but we've turned now and we no longer have anything because we got the threat of, of you know this blue abs down here which positionally really is not a threat they're too low to do anything so this would have been a great pence a, a great game winner even had gold queen recognized that this this uh, gold skulls was coming and just kept looking at the queen bump or just beat her outright she's dead but instead there's a turn lacks a little bit of a bounce there too and that just collapses and blue lives to fight another day still though gold's game to lose because they have the time like, look at the objective that Blue is, has ran in the past, I don't know, 30 seconds. They haven't been able to run an objective in the past 30 seconds. They're on full defense, just trying to make sure these berries don't go in. And they're not stopping the berries from going in, right? Like, right now, berries are going in for Fahari. Two berries left. Let's see if they can clinch it. Ooh, challenge there. I think they could have just threaded it. And it would have been a nice kill, but, you know. High risk, low reward. Two berries left. No escort. Queen's here now. Nice. Good position. Holding the top. Letting the drones pick the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So, uh, when you're on last, on dust map, really any map where you're running berries, and you're this close and you're on last life. And the other team is not like in a situation where they're going to win imminently, right? Like the snail is not touching the basket. They, it's not a berry race. This is gold's game to lose, right? All you need to do is sit pretty and stay alive. It, I don't care how long it takes your team to put those berries in there. It's their job. Let them do it. Trust them. Just trust them to do their job, right? As a queen, position yourself to help your team do what they need to do. As soon as Gold Queen got up here, I thought, ooh, game over. Because she's higher. These guys cannot come up any higher than this. You have this warrior over here to help push in pressure, right? Push the pressure system down. This guy's parked over here. Snail is not a threat, right? Not going to die on a one-on-one, -on -one, not to a queen, not like this. You'll just leave. Maybe you get bumps. That'd be good, but mm, unlikely, I think, right? So you park up here. And you, I don't care how many times it takes, you just let the drones come from every which way until they force those last two berries in there on this 2-2. And you, you just hold up here, let your warriors come down here, do whatever risky stuff they want to do, get, get maybe tag gate, come right back, but just, just, just let your drones do it. Let your drones do it. The moment the queen dived, oh man, my heart sank. My heart sank. That's a warrior's job. Let the warrior come down here, put the pressure on, right? Because now... You're in between two speed warriors, buddy. And, uh, well, the only out that could have happened here, like, this is bad, but the move this way was bad. This is the out you want to take. Why? Because going through here, you have a much better escape route. That's like, it, it cuts off the enemy. This is a narrow needle of the threat. You dive down there, you, you're out. You also have somebody down here to help you. You can dive down even get down here as low as here you know you could dive down cut across get to this ceiling yes the queen's up here but she's more concerned about trying to to get over here to pressure these berries right she's not thinking about necessarily killing the queen in this moment you can dive down under here and just park it right here you can dive down under here get to this side park it right here to think what am i going to do next so this is this is pretty safe as an out going this way is riskier because it's longer to get to safety underneath this ceiling and one of these warriors might catch up to you but if you're gonna go this way Go here and get underneath that ceiling as fast as possible, boy. But what happens? Yeah, the warriors catch up. Not able to get to that ceiling. So got to dive down further. What should happen at this point? Queen's still not quite dead. Right? The berry just went in. You only got to stay alive just for one more berry. How do you do that? Dive down and get underneath here. Right? If you keep going forward... That, that that's like the equivalent of running the length of the falling tree you cut a tree and it's fallen down and it's falling on you and you're you're running in the direction that the tree is going to fall right that's that's what going this way does the warriors catch up 
But if you go this way, that's like running to the side. Trees falling down forward, you run to the side. You're going to clear that tree, right? It is not going to fall on you. You cut here, you're safe. So consider your exit strategies when you're in a pressure situation like that, especially as a queen, but also as a warrior. Look at your routes. There's usually some place you can go to to get there and, and you know, kind of clean things up. That's the game for this one. Uh, or do we have a meet? Oh, yeah, no, he's the best of five sets. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. We're going to go back today. We're going to go back today. Uh, looks like blue. I think somebody's going to drink. Tiffany's going to drink. Let's let's push it forward a little bit and see. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. All right. Yay, a normal open, kind of. <laughs> I like it. Nice bumps. Okay. One warrior out for both teams. I like it. Spore, uh, second warrior for gold. I like it. Ooh, nice bait. Very nice. Good, good reaction time from uh, Blue Queen there. You just gotta see those. Since we've already done one day, I'm gonna see if I can power through this one a little bit. Nice, okay, second warrior yet again coming up from Blue. Oh man, I don't, I don't like this. All right, Blue, Blue Queen probably should have been dead. That was a little bit of autopilot. Let's see, let's see what happened. First of all, this is a good snail push. We're, we're doing a split strat on gold. I don't hate it because I think last time we were on day gold team was able to win on berries the thing about a split strat is you need to understand which one is your primary objective and which one's your fake objective really you can't win on two objectives we, like one of them is going to be the one now sometimes that changes sometimes it's like hey we want to win on berries but damn snail just didn't stop so i guess let's change let's win on snail um and it can continue to change as the game goes on but you just need to be aware of which objective is most advantageous to you at any point that's the point so okay Gold or blue queen. First of all, good pressure from gold skulls. Keep the queen low. This is the column, column. She's lower in the columns. She she can't. She's in trouble. Low. Wants to tag gates. But this is this is just too close. This this is a threat. Now when I see this, if I manage to tag this gate and I live, if I don't die here, I pray to my gods. And I, and, I, and I go and I be grateful. <laughs> right? Get out of there. Stay alive. But what's going to happen is we, we keep kind of, we see that this happens, right? And we think in this moment, ooh, I could have killed her. So then we're going to replicate this more. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna fuck around and find out, basically. So let's slow it down so we can see how it happens. Turn number one, shouldn't have happened. Turn number two, shouldn't have happened. Turn number three. Sh well, then it's like, okay, I got it. But it can go bad in any one of those moments. It works out. But it, man, it's high risk. It is high risk. So that's not, a, you know, I would fight in a situation where I know I've got a little bit more. I know Blue Queen got it. But by all accounts, she should have been dead. High risk. Lower reward. Now that right there, that's calculated. This is a great spot to, to get a to get a baity kill on. All right? This this low platform right here. What's gonna happen? Same thing I've been saying, I think, in, in this video and previous videos. Maybe the previous one with um uh, Tiffany versus me. Warriors! Sometimes it's just a slip of the wrist, you know, tap the button, move the stick, something. But cap these ledges, cap them. What's gonna happen is Blue Queen is gonna do something. I think maybe tag this gate, come back up, but they're going to slip into this gate. They're going to fade back. They're going to be facing to the right, but they're going to hit this ceiling and fade a little bit. Hit it, fade to the left a little bit, but facing the right. Uh, Gold Skulls is going to hit this thing coming in way too hot, and they're going to slide underneath and just suicide right into the queen. They could have capped this, right? Because if you cap it, you keep yourself safe. You don't run the risk of dying at all. And if the queen isn't perfect, you just punish her for being in the right place at the right time. But if you slide under it, you might kill the queen if she makes a mistake. But if she doesn't, you did. And always err on the side of caution, right? Uh, pl play it safer in these type situations when it's a one-on-one -on -one and you're not 100% certain. 
here here it is comes down here's the maneuver thinks we can get there but there's the fade this is the this is a great calculated play because we're underneath here we should have capped the only thing that could have saved this is if the warrior uh lipped in perfectly and scraped this that's a maneuver that can be practiced but it's, it's hard on these short ledges it's really hard on these short ledges to do that Now wait a minute. When did when did uh that was the second life of Gold Queen? So what was the first one? Oh right, right. That tag in the in the beginning. Okay. All right, all right. I still like what the snail's doing. Ooh, Barry down there. I like what gold. I like what gold checks is doing. Just just trying to move it on along. I don't like what gold checks is doing now why same thing I talked about when we were on night map you got to position yourself in a place to actually support the movement of your snail if a drone comes and gets on the snail now with gold checks position where they are they can't do shit to protect that snail blue skulls or the queen anybody hopefully with blue skulls can come down tag this guy for free tag them for free because you're on the outside right you're basically outside the house right now you're gonna be inside the house protecting the house not outside the house gold skulls or gold checks should be positioned here or here either one of these would be better than in here because if you're here you're a bit higher you can you can you know challenge and kind of push out a warrior or you can reestablish to get here if you're here you can at least get this snail to move a little, a little, a little bit because the warrior has to deal with you first before they can just deal with this. You know, they have to consider you at least. You're, you're a threat. But this is, I mean, does eke out, but at that particular moment, you know, Blue Skulls was there. Gonna get picked off. I like this rotation to kind of all hands on deck to stop these, these berries. Woo, and a mantis. Okay, so, you know, Blue blue Queen kind of warmed up to the timing, I think, on some of these risk risk maneuvers. That's a bait. That's a calculated bait. That's a calculated bait for sure. Uh, blue Queen made a calculated bait here. This, this this first one, when they started here and was doing all this dipping and diving and should should have been dying but didn't and turned around three times and finally got it up here, that was, that was not calculated. This, though, this first one was calculated to kill the Speed Warrior. And then this kind of low route here and then turn around that's calculated it's a risk maneuver but they have the eggs to make those types of calculated risks so i don't hate it you can get a little baity when you've got eggs in, in the hopper right so that's good now this breaks down if the, if a bump happens but it didn't happen the calculated risk paid off and that's a that's a dub for blue so not bad very nice yeah that was good all right you can check out more check the tapes i hope these things are interesting and fun and, and useful for you guys hope you learn something i know i do when i'll be watching I'll be learning everybody's secrets <laughs> uh i will be doing some more of these on mondays like i said come on out uh maybe i'll be talking about your games hopefully good things right <laughs> all right national joe out